It's in a very safe place, where you'll never find it, never. What? Do you risk the lives of two others as well as your own for a cheap pendant? You're a bigger fool than I fool. You're right, I am a fool. You have come here alone and unarmed. You are a fiend hunt. My guess is that Frederick and Miss Calloway have already met their maker. You can join them! Stop right there, hon! You've been nicked by Sherlock Holmes! 
Ah, oh, the famous Scotland Yard jacking office. Pretend copper. You're less than a boil on my backside to my way of thinking. We shall see, Mr. Hunt. We shall see. Where, incidentally, is Miss Carroll? Never. If she is alive and you tell us where she can be found, the law may go easy on her. Hold the other one, Hunt. The law's got nothing on me. Dr. Watson and I witnessed your execution of ex-constable Moore. Nonsense. That lunatic attacked me. And in the struggle, he fell under the train. Scotland Yard, I'm sure, will have a different interpretation of the events. Lem, it's your word against mine. Besides, I'll make it my personal business to connect you with the disappearance and murders of Anna Cataway and Frederick Guy. Don't make promises you can't keep, you silly sod. Gardner got eaten by lions, is what I heard. You'll never place me at the scene, as the yard boys say. Now, since you're not a real copper, and a bit of a dim bulb in the bargain, I'll learn you one more thing. You'll never find a Callaway woman alive, and without her, you have no evidence. So, Mr. So-called detective, I might become better acquainted with the old Bailey, but you'll tie nothing on me that will hold fast. Dartmoor Prison will never see my face again. Quite right, you'll hang at Newgate if I know anything of British justice. As for you, I'll make you pay for sticking your nose in my affairs. I will have my revenge. That's a promise. So many have said so, yet here I stand. You're going to the Bow Street Police Court, Mr. Hunt. I hope you're not too particular about your accommodations. Where do you live, by the way? Stuff it.
So, does your account of this mystery come to a satisfactory conclusion, Watson? As good as could be hoped for, Holmes, considering three innocent lives were lost. Indeed, and more's the pity. But we did unravel a muddle that flummoxed Scotland Yard. We apprehended the two vicious criminals. And best of all, we reunited a mother with her son. I would like to have seen Lord Brumwell in the dock, but he has submitted himself to a higher authority. May they all receive their just rewards. Amen to that, Holmes. I'm glad it's over. This was a most peculiar and troubling case. It was a long time before I realized that all of our investigations were related. Sarah's murder, Anna's abduction, and the killing of Frederick Gardner and Moorhead were in a sense all the same crime. I suspect that you and you, the pendant, was the crux of the case much earlier than I. I think that is a just and a succinct summation, Watson. Amazing, Holmes. Should I live one hundred years, I'm sure I shall never meet your equal. My thanks, Watson. But don't be too certain. There is a master criminal who thinks he is already more than a match for me. No doubt we shall have to deal with him in time.